Have you used the Facebook Power Editor yet for your ads on Facebook? While making ads was fairly simple before, Power Editor really can leverage what you're doing and how quickly you're doing it. So in order to use the Power Editor, you'll need to be using the Chrome browser. And if you're not doing that yet, simply go to uh, this link to be able to get the latest version of Chrome. So it's google.com slash Chrome. Once you have it, it will tell you to visit your ads manager and go to the Power Editor tab on the left. So that was just Facebook's help file. So you would see over here on the left something that says Power Editor. However, you could also go to simply facebook.com slash Power Editor and it would work as well. Um, in all of this, what you could see is that on the left hand side, we've got some information that we can look through. I'm going to go to Manage Pages and I want to make sure that I am managing the Fuddruckers page in this case. So I can create an ad. Ah, let's go to select a post, yeah. And then we'll create an ad based on that particular post. We can name this. So at the bottom, ad name, it could be um, eating, eating contest. That's not what this is, we're not going to make this one live, but for demonstration purposes, it will work. Select type, is it an ad, a sponsored story, mobile only, or video? Sponsored stories are eventually going by the wayside, so we'll leave it as ad. And then in this case, do we want to go to take people out to our own website, a Facebook page, a page using a post, which is what I've already selected. And I could also go to an app inside of Facebook or to a Facebook event. So if you've created an event, you can draw people right to that. I like the drawing people to a particular post on my page, not just the general page. I feel like that's not clear enough what they need to do specifically. Destination would be, let's go through Fuddruckers. And then I could create a new post or pick the one that I've already selected earlier. I can also switch this to automatically promote any of the recent posts that I have. So by default, I can make it automatically promote once. I can convert, if I'm going to drive traffic out to my website, I might turn on this conversion tracking, track conversions on my website for this ad, but for now we don't need it. Do we want this to appear on all of Facebook, which includes the right hand column, uh, which are ads on the far right. I don't really want it to be on that. I'm going to go straight into the news feed because the right hand column on the desktop, a lot of people ignore it. But if it goes right into the news feed, then we know that people could see it more. That will be for desktop and mobile both. And I'm not going to be specific about which mobile devices. And uh, I don't care if they're really in Wi-Fi or not. The next section is under audience. You could say use an existing targeting group. That would be if we've already run an ad for this page. We have not yet. I don't really want to make it all of the US, but I can drill down and say I want it to be Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, and include cities within, let's say, 25 miles. And the age range, well, it could really be anybody that would like to come to the restaurant. Um, doesn't really need to be specific on the gender in our case. You can add in specific interests. If you are working with various partner categories, you can go in and select some of this data. It's a little more advanced than what we have time for right now. Broad categories, we could say we want to say we want families to come. Uh, if we want people that are in their hometown, away from their hometown. There's a lot of details in there, not needed right now. Target users who are connected to, and then this would be if they have, uh, if somebody, if you're using the event option and somebody has attended or confirmed that they were at one of your previous events, you could put in the event name here as well. We could put in that we want our existing fans to be there. Um, and we could also say friends of connections, target users whose friends are connected to. And so there we might want to put in some of our competition, possibly. Um, so I could go in and add in different restaurants in the area that would be competition to this one. Under the advanced options, we could drill down a little bit further if we wanted to. Um, you know, not really needed right now. And then under CPC and CPM, 
Basically what you need to know is we're going to go with optimize CPM and use some of the default bids or manually set up the top bids. So we could say if I wanted to manually, I'm willing to pay up to 50 cents a click. That's not going to get me very many. Reach might be, this is maximum per 1,000 users reached. So you can see on these little question marks that you can mouse over these and get a better idea of these things. And then we could also go to learn more about conversion specs and lots of different options that are there. So when I'm all done with that one, let's zoom back out so now that we're done. This one is pending. It's not live yet because I, at this time, do not allow Facebook to have my credit card information until I'm ready to run the ad. So this is paused. It's not completely done yet. Once I would get my payment information in, it would be good to go. Um, what I could also do is duplicate these things. So just click on duplicate and it's going to say, do, which one do you want to do duplicate? I could duplicate multiples of these. Click OK. And now you see I have a lot of these listed in here. So if you want to make one general template and then be able to run from there, this will cover that information. Once you're all set and you do include your payment information, you'll be able to turn off the, so uh, down here I could turn on or off the pause option and be able to make my campaign live. So that's a great way to get into Facebook's Power Editor. I find that the initial time setting it up might take a little bit longer than doing a traditional promoted post, but you get a lot more details about information in here, and also it's really easy to duplicate in the future. So check out Facebook Power Editor today.